Good afternoon, welcome to Maths Live. Um, already got some shout outs. Hi Harry, hi James. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, just a little bit of a different starter. Normally I put a starter up that you've not seen before, but I'm actually going to, I've actually put up the three questions that were posted at 10 o'clock and an extra one. So those people who have already done the three questions, there is an extra one there. If you haven't seen the three questions yet, then give these a go. We'll go through these first as a revision from this week, and then we're gonna go on to some problems today based on fractions. So give them a go, I'll be back in a few minutes. So hi Lily Rose, hi Lucia, hi Namira and Kayan, with lots of emojis, <laughs> hi Adriana, hi Sophia and Eva, Hi Anya, hi Ellie, Ellie and Barwell, hi James and Tom in Cambridge, wow I've got loads of people watched already. Super, yeah, remember to put your name in the chat as well because we've got a few people that's just tell me where you are. Right, let's, uh, let's get started. Another lovely day again today. Is it? And it's Friday. It's Friday. Da, da, da. So, let's get started. Four sixths of 42. So this is coming on, this is carrying on from yesterday. So we, we're splitting 42 into six parts, and then the whatever's left, we times it by four. So four, six. Now, pretend, first of all, it's not four, six, pretend it's one, six. So we have to find one, six of 42 first. And then when you've got that, you can times it by four. So six times table, so one, six, six, two, six is 12. Three, six is 18, four, six is 24, five, six is 30. 6, 6 is 36, 7, 6 is a 42. So 1, 6 of 42 is 7, but we want 4, 6. So 7 times 4 is 28. So the answer for number 1 is 28. Simplify 12 over 96 into its smallest form. So simplify, lost my rubber, I was down here. Simplify 12 over 96 into its simplest form. It's is as small as it can be. So you could look at the number. If you're not sure, if you think they're quite big numbers, you could halve them, or you could look at the numerator and think, right, is that is um, 96 in the 12 times table? So uh, 5 12 66, 12 72, 7 12 84, 8 12 and 96. If I took divide the top and the bottom by 12, it will be 1 over 8, because 1 12 is 12, and 8 twelves are 96. So in its simplest form, it's 1 over 8. Now, again, what you could do is think, right, 12 over 96. They're both even numbers, so I'll divide them by 2. So that makes 6, ooh, 45. So 48, so that'd be 6 over 48. You could divide it by 2 again if you like. See, I'm showing you there's different steps. You don't just need to jump into, which is the, the fact that you can jump straight into it. So that would be 3 over, so 40, so 24. I have to think about that then. 
and then again, and now you think, right, it's 24 with the three times table. So 1 3 is 3, 2 3 is 6, 3 3 is 9, 4 3 is 12, 5 3 is 15, 6 3 is 18, 7 3 is 21, 8 3 is 24. So if I divide that by 3, it's 1 over 8. And that's the original number we got when we did divide by 12. Okay? Oops, a lazy. bit clumsy. Right, this, I thought this was a good question. Even if I say so myself. I wanted to think of one that wasn't just all calculating. So a bit of drawing. Now you can have lots of different answers for this. Loads and loads and loads and loads. So it says draw a shape which has three fifths shaded. So the shape needs to have three fifths shaded but has more than five parts. So you can't have for example, one, two, three, four, five, and the three part shaded. That shape does have three fifths shaded, but I wanted it with more than five parts. An easy way to do that is to draw this and then split it in half. Because for every five parts, do you remember from the other day? It wasn't, wasn't yesterday, the day before. For every five parts, three shaded. That's still three fifths. If you drew something like that, if you drew a, a shape with ten parts and six were shaded, that's correct. What you could also have done, if you really want to do, is you could have done that and then you could have done that. So this has fifteen parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and now there's 15 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, shaded. But 9 over 15 is the same as 3 over 5 because for every 5 parts, 3 is shaded. Tough question that, bit of a challenge. But well done if you gave it a go. And for the last challenge question, it was simplify. 46 over 118. Now, I'm challenging myself here because I just thought of two random numbers. So I don't know the answer to this. So let's see. Let's see. You know what? I think yesterday we didn't have a moment from Steph. We didn't have a silly moment. Me nearly knocking the board over there was close. But let's see how it goes. So, I don't know. I'm just going to halve. I'm just going to do some halving first to see where I can get up to. So, half of 46 is 20. Three and half of 118. Well, half of 100 is 50, and half of 18 is 9, so that must be 59. Oh, right. So I've got 23 over 59, so I've got to think. I can't divide by 2 because they're both odd numbers. So I need to think any multiples that go into 23. So I'm going to start my 3 times table. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. No. So it can't be on 5s. So 6, 166, 6, 2, 6, 12, 3, 6, or 18, 4, 6, or 24. No. Um, so yeah, 5, so 6, 7s. 1, 7, 7, 2, 7, 14, 3, 7s are 21, 4, 7s are 28. No. Uh, 8, 1 8 is 8, 2 8 is 16, 3 8 is 24, no. 1 9 is 9, 2 9 is 18, 3 9 is 27, no. So actually this fraction is the simplest form of 46 out of 118 because you cannot get, there are no factors to make that any smaller, okay. Speaking of factors, we are going to actually be working on that next week. That's a little sneak peek about next week. I'll tell you about that at the end of the lesson. Right, I'm just going to make sure that my board hasn't gone out of shot. It's still there. It's still there. It's just turned a little bit. It's just turned a little bit. That's better. Right, today we're going to be doing word problems, mainly to do with fractions of numbers, but we'll see how we get along. Um, obviously with a word problem, it's tricky for me to do it over the internet because I need to read it out, but I also need to write it. So bear with me. I'll read it out first so you can make some notes and maybe start ahead. I'll then write it and read it out 
and then we'll give it a go, okay? And then I'll do some shout outs. So, oh, because <laughs> I can see there's lots and lots and lots. So remember, it's always good to practice word problems when you've been, when you've been learning a topic because you're putting that skill into a problem form, an everyday life problem. So do you remember when we were doing adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing? You need to put that into a word problem form. You need to practice because we use adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing all around us. If you only ever learn the calculation and not how to apply it, it'll be very, very tricky in real life. So I've got four problems today. Um, we'll take our time, we'll work through them. So I'm going to read the first one out to you. If you want to make any notes and start ahead, that's fine. And then I'll put it on the board. So, Jake won £40 at the fair. Jake won £40 at the fair. He gave three quarters of the money to his family and spent one quarter at the game shop. The first question is, how much did Jake spend at the shop? So, Jake won £40 at the fair, I to excuse my handwriting, he won £40 at the fair, he gave three quarters of the money To his family and spent one quarter at the game shop. Okay, that is the problem. I'm going to write both questions now. So, question one is how much did Jake spend at the shop? Okay, let's have a look. And question two is, has a mum, dad and brother, a bro, he's got a bro. <laughs> How much would they get equally? Because it says in the question, he gives three quarters of the money to his family. So if he's got a mum, dad and brother, how much of each of them would they get equally? How about that? Will I do some shout outs? Wow, there's been loads, lots of scrolling back. Hi Lachlan, hi Adia, hi Hannah Gabriella, hi Eliza, Bromsgrove, okay. Oh, Lucy is answering. Fantastic. Hi, Tej. Okay. Hi, Lucy. Brilliant. Hi, Jake and Dylan. Hi, Mills and Liv. Hello, Mills and Liv. Just down the road from me. <laughs> Brilliant, well done. Hi Elliot and Oliver. Super. Hi Heidi. Brilliant. Oh, we've got some answers coming up. Sophia and Eva have got an answer. Harry's got an answer. Ooh, got some different answers. Okay. 
So, the, let's get the most important part. The most important part is £40. Then he gives three quarters to his family and spent a quarter at the game shop. Remember, with work, I, I've, I've said this before, with work problems, I love highlighting parts, circling words, drawing pictures, anything to make that problem come to life and jump out of me, that's what I'll do. So the first question is, how much did Jake spend at the shop? So we know he spent a quarter of the money at the shop. So we need to find one quarter of 40, which means we're dividing it by four. So he spent 10 pounds. So well done if you got 10 pounds. Now, Jake has a mum, dad and brother, and they get three quarters of the money. Now, because it's three, it's split into three people, one, two and three, which is quite nice. If we know that one quarter is 10, then if it's with three people, we times that by three, which is 30, but we already know that it's 10, 10, 10, so they each get 10 pounds. So the answer is 10 pounds for both questions. Right, I saw a lot of that come up, which is amazing, it's well done. Oh, it takes up a whole board doing a big problem. And there's an even bigger problem later. But that one's the best problem because it involves me. <laughs> right, next question. At the Olympics, ah, can't let what come up. At the Olympics, Oh, which aren't happening this year as well, so it's sad. At the Olympics, a country won 84 medals. So this country at the Olympics won 84 medals. Half the medals were gold. A third of the medals were silver. And, and one-sixth of the medals were bronze. How many of each medal did they get? So how many golds did they get? How many silvers did they get? And how many bronze medals did they get? Give that a go. people putting ten pounds for both questions that's amazing super well done I can't keep up with all the comments today Let's see how many. I'm just going to wait for um, some comments to come through for this one. I love that. Four marks. <laughs> yeah, 84 medals. Must be a good country. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Summer Olympic Games. I don't know if it's the Winter Olympic Games. It's just a country and they've got 84 medals. So half of the medals they won were gold so they must have been really really good so what we've got to do is we're finding half of 84 so we've got to divide 84 by 2 so half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 is 2 so they won 42 gold medals amazing so next one we're finding a third so we need to find one third of 84. Now, our three times tables, we don't go up to 84, so let's do some of stop division with three. So that's how many threes go into eight? So one three is three, two threes are six, and we carry over the two to make 24. So 
3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that's 8. So one third of 84 is 28. So they 28 silvers and how many bronze? So one sixth of it was bronze. So let's have a look. We need to find one sixth of eighty four. Okay, so we've got to do eighty four divided by six. So there's one sixth in eight, two left over, and how many sixes in twenty four? So one six six, two six twelve, three six or eighteen, four sixes are twenty four. So they won fourteen bronze medals. Let's have a look. Have a quick, 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 quick look. Got 42, 28, and 14. Zaina, well done. Lachlan, well done. <laughs> lots, lots of people say, yay. <laughs> it's so, so, it's so hard to keep. Oh, wow. There's loads and loads and loads of you. <laughs> There's loads of you say, yeah, I've got the answer. Well done. Good. It's good doing problems. Because it keeps you busy as well. There's lots of different things to think about. There's a lot, like I say, as long as you take your time, then that's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, it just don't ever get freaked out by a problem, okay? Because just break it down. Right, next question. Millie, Mills, <laughs> Millie was watching a film, okay? So I'll read this out first and I'll let, give you a bit of time. Millie was watching a film. The film is an hour long. So remember that, the film is an hour long. Five sixths of the way through the film, five sixths of the way through the film, her friends called. So Millie paused the film. How much of the film had Millie watched up until that point? Now there's something tricky about this. See if you can spot it. So Millie is watching the film. So Millie is watching the film, the film lasts one hour, well it's one hour long, and then five six, it's five over six, five six of the way through, okay. a friend calls, I don't know if that's your call round calls on the phone, I haven't decided that a friend calls. So Millie pauses the film. Yeah. So how much of the film has been watched? lesson for me today. Lots of handwriting. Right, give that a go. Just think there's a trick in there. Oh gosh, there's already answers. <gasps> you clever, clever bunch. You clever, clever bunch. I'm just having to scroll back. Oh, I'll, I know I like as I go along all the comments, but there's so many today. I'll come back to it at the end of the lesson. Wow. Well, a lot of you have got the same answer, so this is looking good. I think you spotted the trick that's in there. Now, oh, because a lot of you have answered, we're going to go straight into it. So, the trick. Tell someone next to you, what is the trick that is in this problem? What do you have to do first? So, Millie's watching a film. The film lasts one hour, so that's a key part of the problem. And then five sixths of the way through the film, a friend calls. So how much the film had been watched? So how much? How much is usually is the, it was the amount we're looking for? Now five sixths of one hour. 
To find five sixths of one isn't very helpful. So what you do, what you've correctly done, because I've seen, you know that one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, so now you're actually finding five sixths of 60. Yeah, you know that one sixth of 60 it is 10, because 10 6 is 60, times it by 5, and the answer is 50. She had watched 50 minutes of the film. 50 minutes. Amazing. You guys are good. Even on a Friday, you guys are good. Right, one more question. And then we have conquered some part of fractions. I want to make it clear, and I'm sure a lot of you have spotted that we, our topic this week has been fractions, but we have by no means covered all fractions. You can add fractions, subtract fractions, multiply, divide, um, uh, <laughs> translate. There's all sorts of things to do with fractions, but I'd rather not do weeks and weeks and weeks of fractions. At some point, if we're still locked down, I'll come back to fractions and we'll do some different topics. But next week, we're going to move on to a different thing. But in the meantime, let's try this last question. So, I'm tempted to read it out, but I'm going to write it at the same time. Steph. Steph. Has 60 sweets. It's all right for you, Locke. You can just do the calculating. Now I've got to do all the writing. Steph has sixty sweets. Uh, one fifth. I know. No, I'm not going to keep changing colour. One fifth of blue. One third of yellow. And three tenths of green. Right, ready? The rest are red. The rest are red, but, 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 I have eaten half of the red ones. red sweets are left? So that's the question. You can get all these different, if you want to tell me all the different points you can do, but the main question is how many red sweets are left? So 60 sweets, one fifth of blue, one third of yellow, three tenths of green, the rest are red, but I've already eaten half of the red ones. How many red sweets do I have left? Oh, fantastic. I'm going to try and sh do some shout outs here. Even, even if I've already shouted you out, um, I'm going to go back to when we were doing the 50 minutes. Because there's a lot. So, yay, Harry, well done. Lucia, well done. Harnett, well done. Lachlan, well done. Lily. Brilliant. Adriana. Zaina. Brilliant. Oh gosh, we've already got answers for this. Amazing. You guys are quicker than me today. <laughs> you guys are definitely, definitely quicker than me. Right, let's get a bad pen. I don't need that anymore. So Steph has 60 sweets. One fifth of blue, one third of yellow, and three tenths of green. So I'm going to look at all these first. So one fifth of blue. So um, how many fives are in 60? So 12 fives are 60. One third of yellow. So I'm going to have, so if I split 60 into three parts, that'll be 20. 
okay? And three tenths are green. So that means one tenth, if I split 60 by 10, that would be six. Six threes are 18. Okay, so these are my numbers, okay? I'm gonna rub out this key fact because I want some space. We know that we need half of it, so. So 12, 20, and 18. Let's add that up. So that's 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all these make 50 sweets. And it tells us the rest of the sweets are red. So that means there are, t there are 10 red sweets. But I've eaten half of them. So half of 10 is five. So there are five red sweets left. There you go. So what you've done today, you've ta you have tackled four problems, some of them quite complicated, involving fractions, especially fractions of numbers. And this can vary. You can start doing this in year four, but again, mainly in year six is where the challenge comes from this. So excellent, well done for taking part. Um, after I've logged off here and I've said goodbye, there isn't going to be a challenge problem today because I'm ready to put up all the lessons for next week. Um, it's going to be lots of different lessons next week. It's not just going to be one topic because um, I want to throw in different skills. So have a look. I hope you can join me next week. Um, for those of you that get the resource books, they're going to go out, the resource packs, they're going to go out on Saturday. Um, I've had some great examples from this week and there's a big, big, big competition for next week. So have a look at that. Hope you all have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Bye bye.